Novak Djokovic versus Carlos Alcaraz is the final of the Cincinnati Open for 2023. And both guys have had different roads to get to this stage. Djokovic entered the tournament as the number two seed and will get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Fakina. And after winning the first set, Fakina was forced to retire in the second, giving Djokovic the win, 6-4 retirement. In the third round, he'd take on Monfils, a guy that he'd beaten 18 times before. And just like the previous meetings, Monfils had no chance. Djokovic getting the win, 6-3, 6-2, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Djokovic would take on the number nine seed Fritz, who played a close match against last year at the ATP Finals. However, Djokovic was on another level, beating Fritz in an hour, 6-love, six 6-4, six to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Djokovic would take on the number 16 seed Zverev, who had a resurgence this week on the hard courts. And after a close first set, Djokovic would get through in straights, 7-6, seven, 7-5, seven, to advance to the final. Alcaraz came into the tournament as the number one seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on the qualifier Thompson. After dropping the second set, would fight to win in three, 7-5, 4-6, six, six, In the third round, he'd take on the number 14 seed, Tommy Paul, the man who had beaten him last week in Canada. And after splitting the first two sets and a lot of rain delays, Alcaraz would eventually prevail 7-6, 6-7, 6-3 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Alcaraz would take on the qualifier, Purcell, who had just taken out Rude and Vavrinka back-to-back. And after dropping the first set, Alcaraz again would have to fight back to win in three, 4-6, 6-3, 6-4 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the semifinals, Alcaraz would take on Hubi Hercatch, who played very well to get to this stage. And having to save a match point, Alcaraz would fight back to win 2 6 7 6 6 3 to advance to the final. These guys have played three times before and, of course, famously played a month ago in one of the best matches of recent memory at Wimbledon with Alcaraz getting the win in five sets. They also played at the French Open in the semifinals with Djokovic getting the win. But it'll be the first time they play on hard court and with the head to head being 1 1 this year alone, the trilogy is going to be epic. If Djokovic is going to win this one, he needs to limit the errors. Against Zverev, who's a little bit sloppy at times, especially early and late in those matches, you can't do that against Alcaraz. Zverev did give him a lot of free points, and we know that Alcaraz will not be doing that, especially if he does anything like what he did at Wimbledon. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he needs to be aggressive and take Djokovic on. Zverev played a little bit too safe against Djokovic, and also Fritz in the earlier match did the same thing in the quarters, so, so Alcaraz has to be aggressive, and of course we know he's going to be aggressive. Come to the net and do all those things that we know we love, and do all those things we love to see him do. What a great matchup. It's a little preview into what we're going to hopefully see again in a couple of weeks in New York. We've seen some epic five-set match with them already. It's going to be a three set this one, but I reckon Alcaraz is going to get him. I just think Alcaraz looks a little better, even though, yeah, he's played a lot more tennis and he's had to play three sets all round. But I just think Alcaraz has confidence against Djokovic, which no one else has in the world. So I think he's going to use that and he might sneak out the win this time. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to win the final.